YouTube friends and family. Today I'm going to discuss Pella fans and how to repair and replace them. This is Andrew Howell on How to Sail. Uh, we also have a blog, howtosail.blogspot.com. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. So here's the way we do this. Uh, I'm sure if you have an older boat that you have one of these fans in it and uh, they get tired. Um, basically what happens is uh, the motors get uh, bogged down, the contacts get weak, people think that they've burned up, but they haven't. Um, so here's an easy way to clean them and an easy way to replace parts if you have broken parts and you have a couple of fans you want to make one work out of it. It's really simple. Uh, so right here the fan blade has a little cap usually on it that's gone missing on this one but uh, it's no big deal, it doesn't hurt anything. The fan just pulls off so you just take it off just like this right and now you have the motor. You can see I've added uh, I've added some rubber bands in here to tighten up the blade because the blade was uh, the blade was kind of loose and wonky. I just took a couple of uh, little rubber bands out of my daughter's uh, loom um, rainbow loom kit, wrapped them around there. Uh, good as gold. Next, you want to make sure that these wires right here that you pull some slack on them so they're not uh, they're not too um, they're not too tight. Otherwise, you could damage the circuit board when you do this next thing. So after that, you're going to push on this shaft right here. When you do that, this cap is going to pop off the back and uh, it's going to be apart. It's that easy. I'll push on it like that and out comes the back cap, right? And out comes the motor. It's that simple. There's a little rubber gasket. This gasket's uh, designed to keep it um, to keep it from vibrating and making, uh, making noise. So you can disconnect those contacts from the circuit board. You can see right there it's got uh, it's got a couple of contact points right there. I just pulled them off. That's what these are, right? Now you can take the wire out of the fan like this. It comes all the way out like that. Now that can go in your dishwasher, scrub, wash, take it out on the dock, hose it off, doesn't matter. All the parts and pieces done. You have your motor, right? This is pretty straightforward. Take this rubber gasket off and wipe the motor down. You can soak it with WD-40, the whole thing. Just uh, soak it on the back there, soak it on the front in here, clean it out, wash it off. The WD-40 is not going to hurt anything. Uh, clean your contacts. So the way this works, this is the back cap. This is the control cap that basically helps uh, adjust the, um, the speed of the fan. On the back of that cap is a contacts right here and here. Those contacts, they just go Tick tock, tick tock, like this over top of the uh, sensors back there. That's how power gets transmitted. When the uh, motor starts to get weak and the fan starts to die, these contacts right here, connecting right here and here, they're getting they're getting worn out. So they need more pressure. This little metal piece in the cap, you just pull it off like this, right? Simple enough. Now, this contacts right here, you want to bend them forward a little bit, just like this. Okay. Try not to you you want to make sure that this this stays nice and tight. So when you push it back in the cap, it has tension. <clears throat> like that. All right. Now, clean these contacts off. WD-40, maybe a little piece of uh of uh copper uh copper wool, not steel wool, but copper wool. Um you don't want to use steel wool when you're in a marine environment because uh, obviously you guys know steel rusts and it's going to little fragments are going to get in here and rust and get nasty. Then also uh, put a little uh, dielectric grease on that, some little grease that uh, helps uh, make connectivity. To put the whole thing back together again, make sure you've got your uh, rubber gasket around the top of your uh, your motor like this. Stick it back in. Uh, first, you got to run your wires. Hang on here. Run your wires back through here. Just like this. Oh, got to get them in the back first. So come in the bottom here like that. And then they come through here like this. So I pull them out a good range. It doesn't, doesn't hurt. Now we're going to plug in the uh, motor again right here like this. Plug it into the circuit board. It's really easy. Just spade connections see that right there right now whoop, the gasket slipped off want to make sure that gasket's in place 
you can see the rubber gasket inside of there. I've got uh, in place at the bottom. I can drop the motor through and pull the slack out on the wire as I do that, right? So I'm setting the motor in place. There's little V grooves where the circuit board fits, okay? Right here, over here like that, and on the bottom down here. So that circuit board fits in that little V groove just like that. You wanna make sure that where the wires exit is at the bottom of the fan down here. Easy enough. Take this guy. Remember, put your dielectric grease on here. I'm not going to do that for time, but you know what to do there to fix it up. And uh, it goes with the long arm towards the top, and you just clip it in there like that. Then take your fan and stick it back on like that, and you're done. That's how you rebuild a Helifan. So if this was helpful and you like this video and you want to see more like it, just uh, click subscribe for me if you would and uh, like the video. I'm, uh, I, I, I've done a bunch of how-to videos early on when I was refitting my boat. Um, I had to break away from it because uh, I was running out of time and I needed to get the boat sailing. I had a very limited uh, early retirement. So uh, we're down here in Grenada right now sitting at uh, La Fair Blue Marina. And uh, if you want, I'll do a video tour of the, of the facility here so you guys can see what La Fair Blue's like and uh, we can talk about Grenada a little bit. But uh, like and subscribe and uh, I will uh, do my best to uh, start cranking out some good videos for you guys. I hope this is helpful. Have a nice day.